Welcome to Airmeans, your Etsy fashion store. Shop with the confidence. Hurry up now 30% off. Find the link in the description. Kanye West's attorney requested court approval to formally withdraw from representing him, following the rapper's decision to terminate their professional relationship and cease all communication, Brian Brumfield requested to withdraw as Kanye's legal counsel in the lawsuit filed by Justin Poplowski, who alleged he was assaulted after asking for an autograph. Kanye has denied the allegations that I end the motion, the attorney stated, defendant, Kanye West, terminated relationship on June 21, 2024. Defendant also will not speak to counsel and defendant refuses to pay counsel as well. A hearing regarding this issue is scheduled for later this month. What went down in the lawsuit between Kanye West and Justin Poplowski, earlier this year, Justin filed a lawsuit over an incident that occurred on January 13, 2022, outside Soho Warehouse in downtown Los Angeles. Justin alleged that Kanye became angry when he asked for an autograph and reportedly said, I'm going to make AF, King example out of you. Justin claimed that Kanye struck him in the face and then threatened him, asking, so do you want to get attacked for real? Justin stated that he demanded an apology from the rapper, which Kanye reportedly refused to give. He filed a lawsuit seeking unspecified damages. In his reply, Kanye contended, defendant is informed and believes, and based on such information and belief, alleges that defendant was justified in doing any and or all of the acts alleged in the complaint. His attorney also contended, all of the purported causes of action in the complaint are barred to the extent, West, acted in defense of himself and or others. The decision to dismiss Brian follows a lawsuit against Kanye and his wife Bianca Sensori by former employees, alleging they were hired to develop a new streaming service to compete with Apple Music and Spotify, Kanye enlisted Milo Yiannopoulos, another defendant, who in turn hired international developers for the project. The employees alleged a hostile work environment where supervisors used derogatory language and referred to staff as slaves.